it's so many you choose one. I hope I'm not too late to set my demon straight. I know I made you wait. Welcome back, y'all. I know y'all reading that title and like, girl, finally. I know, sis. It took a little minute for me to get into my little chit chat bag, but she's here, okay? And she's ready. She is prepared. I am excited. I have makeup for you guys. I have a girl talk for y'all. I have answering questions all in this one video. I will do this much more if you guys are interested to see content like this. But make sure you turn on your post notification bell and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Join the family. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I'm going to go in with my Crest Vivid White Strips. Since I am going on a little Zadiana, we need these teeth to be pearly. And hopefully it doesn't look too crazy while I'm doing my makeup and while I'm talking to you guys. I use my charcoal like powder and I use that before I brush my teeth. So I do that like twice. Really, really OD when it comes to these teeth. These are the multi-purpose beauty razors. Marshall's will be coming in handy when you need little knickknacks like this. But I'm really bringing this out because it's time to shave this mustache and I just go in with my skin already having like some product on it from earlier today. Fenty Cookies and Cream Mask is amazing. She does exactly what she needs to do for me. After I do my extractions or if I'm feeling like my skin is dry, I use this product and it really does, you know, replenish my skin and make it come back to life. I'm going to take this time round now and I'm going to try out the toner for the first time. I'm scared. It's a dark spot serum. So far, so good. I don't have any like burning sensations from the toner. I am using the softer part of the round clean babe she don't have any residue so love that for me this i've been trying out this new serum from the pharmacy I have this sample size girl let me just try it out first before i commit to it so here i am so far so good the fenty thick and smooth eye cream do you love me do you trust me can i trust you don't judge me I'm a dialogue. This is the Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Moisturizer Cream. I went and picked her up yesterday. I used it probably three times now, and I love it. Adding that glow to my skin, as you can see. Why haven't y'all told me about this? Y'all know I am a combo girl, which means that her T-zone is super, super oily. This right here, does wonders i really thought that i was over the nars radiant foundation which i'm going to be using today in this video so obviously i'm not over it i thought for a minute my skin wasn't feeling it because i was getting super super oily like it would be so weird like after i do all of this powdering and setting and all of that with all of these products with using my milk hydro grip primer i will still be an oily babe and i was like oh no this is i'm not buying all of these expensive as products to feel like I'm just going to melt off by the end of the day. So I used my brain and I was like, what could it be? It was the primer. It definitely was the primer, but more of the story, it's not happening anymore, girl, because of this Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. I'm using the Say Glowy Super Gel Dewy Illuminating Fluid, and this is in the shade Sun Glow. Now, let me tell you, I've been trying to get my hands on something that was resembling like this type of tone. When I seen this, it was by accident because I was trying to get the Drunken Elephant drops and this woman was like, girl, you don't want that. I think I'm gonna use this taper brush by Morpheus, the 536. And I'm just gonna use this to just, you know, put this on the high points of my face. And I don't know, I just felt like I wanted something like this. Even though I just told you I don't want that much shine, I do wanna have control over my shine though. So I'm putting it in the areas that I do want my natural glow to peek through. I think it's pretty, like, it's super natural, but it does have like that golden 
undertone that I'm looking for. So I feel like it's perfect. But we'll see what it does to my makeup because yeah. A new Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Sweet Espresso. I was using a different color before and it was really red and it was blending in with me, you know? So I didn't care for it that much. I'm taking it in on my cheeks, jawline. For I'm gonna use this brush right here to put it on my nose and then Start carving out my nose contour shape. Give you guys a little life update. Your girl is about to be big to eight. Can you guys believe it? Like, where is time going? I've really just been living my best life, y'all. I really have no complaints. I really be taking like long hiatus from Georgia. For the most part, I've really just been happy and trying to get myself back into this fitness journey. So I use this MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC50 to cover up my vitiligo. And I'm gonna go in with this Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Caramel, and I also use Sand. I love cooking. I found like a love for cooking. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know that one, I love cooking, but two, I love eating me a good ass meal. So I'm gonna take Macau and Car Caraca. Don't give me the lying about this name. Blend her and put this right where I need to put her. I like to put more on this side for obvious reasons. She's filling in. It's really scary to watch this all go down because sometimes I'm not even paying any mind to it. And from what I've seen is a lot of it has disappeared. But since the last time y'all seen it, it's grown. As you can see, I'm just blending this out. Um, I did want to touch on some of you guys' questions that y'all had for me. It's a statement slash question. So it says, I love how you just live life effortlessly. I'm sure you have your problems, but it seems as if you don't, you don't let that stop you from being at peace and living life. I would love for you to talk about how you got to that point or if you've always been that way and some tips. So, so firstly, I want to say like, God, that's first. God is in control of my steps. And even on my toughest days, I know that I'm gonna get through it because of just that statement in itself. Like, you no, know, my faith is super strong and I've been through a lot. And God has gotten me out of my hardest battles, toughest times every single time. And this started at a young age when I felt like, you know, the world was against me or I didn't have much or I felt like people weren't in my corner. And I wanted to change my outlook on that because I didn't want that to be my downfall. And I also didn't want that to hinder me. I wanted to grow, I wanted to inspire, I wanted to motivate, I wanted to push myself. But if you have faith that you're gonna get through this and know that God is on your side, and I am a firm believer that he always makes it happen and comes through for me no matter what. And I attract that and I don't let the bad times or the tough times define who I am as a person. I've learned to have light in my tunnel always and versus me saying like it's gonna be light at the end of the tunnel. I learned to always have the lights on in this tunnel because I don't wanna ever get to the darkest place that I have been. And I'm glad that I experienced those things that I experienced previously because it helped me kind of like control my mindset and have this positive outlook on everything's going to be okay and as long as i know that everything's okay and i believe that he has me i'm going to walk by faith and i know that he is in control of this life that i'm living because i have had things happen to me that just reassures me of that every single day i'm going to read you a quote that i came across and it reads pay attention to your patterns the way you learn to survive may not be the way you want to continue to live hill and shift so that resonates with me so so much you guys like when i say healing is so important just check in with yourself be kind on those check-ins with yourself just take time to get to know yourself and I feel like that's how I've always kind of stayed positive, but I'm also learning to 
be gentle with myself as well. I definitely have been super, super real with myself to a point that I had to cut people off. I had to change my eating habits. I had to change the way that I talked to myself, the way I thought, the type of music that I listened to, you know, and definitely being real about the company that I've kept around myself. Having positive habits is all that I'm interested in having right now. So hopefully that answered your question. Hopefully it wasn't that deep, but next question. Let's talk about self-love, loving yourself more, and being your own boss. Um, that kind of ties into what I just touched on. So, you know, just take time out for yourself. Like I said before, be gentle with yourself. You know, take yourself out on dates, walks. Buy your little PJ set, something from Amazon, something from Target, self-help books. Self-help books can help you build financial freedom, you know, just depending on what it is that you're trying to focus on in your life. Remember to save and invest in the right things. There's a specific question that you have about being a boss or being a YouTuber or being an entrepreneur. Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to use a fluffy brush and I'm going to take my Sephora powder. I still use my Sephora powder and I do use my MAC Mineralized um, Skin Finish Powder as well. But I'm just going to use this first just to tap over everything i do want to try out their new bronzers let me know if y'all have tried them out yet because i'm really really loving the packaging and they have our melanin colors you guys so they finally caught on i'm guessing face is looking flawless I always forget to like add a little bit of foundation right here and like my makeup goes away first on my nose just because I forget to do that I don't know I just never really was into putting a lot of makeup on my nose I feel like that's when you can look really really caked up I'm gonna move forward with something that I should have done before this because I really really want to use this blush this is the liquid blush from Juvia place and she's in the shade coral rose I don't know how I forgot to do this all right so I'm going to use the back of my sponge and then I'm going to tap this I didn't miss my face because I'm like I don't even want to like move anything around I'm just going to put that right on top of everything and doing the same thing on this side and then I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I don't know, I feel like I like to control my blush first before I go in with bronzer because it can just look real crazy if you apply too much bronzer and then apply blush. Like I have that outlook in my head for some reason. I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit more. And I feel like she's gonna stay on all night. Jen, I do want to mention like, a part of loving yourself is creating new positive habits for yourself. So, whatever that means to you, try to do different things that you may not even think that you like. Like try cooking, maybe ride a bike, maybe start going to the gym, um, maybe you start painting. I found out that I really, really love painting. Like it keeps me all the way at peace. Have fun with it, love yourself, because you should. Like you are that girl. The next question I have is, how to find new friends as an adult. And I'm just going to keep it very, very simple when it comes to this. When I don't have the answers to it, I'm going to definitely be quick to tell you to pray about it because sometimes you know how it can get, girl. So you have to really, really know who you are considering as a friend. I use this Studio Fix powder to like set my eyes because it's a more lighter shade than my actual foundation powders. But I like to do this because sometimes my eyes like to crease up on me. But it really hasn't been doing that since I have been trying out that new primer. Red flags about dating. It's so many to choose one. You set my dream is straight. You know I made you wait. How much can you take? I hope you see the guy. I hope you can see. If it's up, stay down for me. 
I'm going to try out a new gloss. This is from Juvia Place and this is in the shade Dol Dolce Latte. Really pretty pinky nude. And it seems like it's high in gloss. So like high in shine. So I like that. And it smells really freaking good, y'all. I had to taste it. <laughs> I'm going to set my cheeks with this Sephora Hot Flush blush. This blush right here, you guys, I love it. Careful if you put it too close to like right here, you can give off highlight. And I don't, I don't really care for the highlight glow anymore. I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest with you. I don't really care for this Charlotte bronzer unless I'm putting it in the back of my face like this. I don't like to take it any further down on my face. And this is not even the brush I like to use, but I'm trying to use this so it can kind of blend in with that blush a little bit. My Charlotte Tilbury before I go in with my under eye and my mascara. And I'm gonna spray this on my face so it can set. It says it primes and sets for up to 16 hours in my makeup. It smells really, really good. I love me a good setting spray. This is like one of my favorites when it comes to doing my makeup, a good setting spray. We still gotta do the brows. Something calm for the brows, nothing too crazy. A new pencil that I want to use. It's actually from Black Opal and it's this gold eyeliner. It's the Precision Eye Defining Pencil in the shade. I'm sure it's not called gold, but uh, I'm gonna call it gold today because, oh, I think it's called Get Lit. The name is on the back at the bottom of the box. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna run this in my waterline. I am gonna take this nylon shade again and then just drag this right on the bridge of my nose because I told you I love it so much since it does have like this golden tone to it. And I'm gonna quickly do my brows off of camera Anastasia Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara and she got recommended by a supporter of mine she told me about this mascara and it was so let me quickly do my brows i'm actually going to wipe them off because they have a little bit of powder on them and then i'm going to do my bottom lash line and as you can see i pinned my hair up i curled it put some rollers in it in the front half mainly i didn't want to do too much I had so much fun doing this with you guys. Y'all don't even understand. No, we're gonna leave it just like that. In two weeks, she's giving Tangerine Dream vibes. Let me tell y'all how I felt about the new products that I tried out. Like the blush, can we talk about it? The blush is still blushing, y'all. Like, do y'all see it? And it's so natural and the color is just going perfect with this dress. That's why I chose the orange because I just felt like it went really good with my eye makeup, my lip combo, and yeah, the eyebrows are eyebrowing. I use my precise brow pencil from, I forgot, Charlotte. Definitely did his thing. The setting spray was really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. I went to the bathroom and put a little bit of Urban on top of this. Just for safety purposes, because I just wanted this to be extra. I did find myself having to add a little bit more powder, setting powder, in these areas right here. And I think it's because I dragged down that say too far in this area so i think when i'm using that product i'm gonna mainly put it up in this area and not so much down here i love what it's doing for my nose i didn't feel like i needed to go in with any highlight on my nose i don't really care for highlight on my nose i like it to look like this 
if I am going for a highlight and sometimes powder highlight can be a little bit too harsh for my liking some days I'll do it others I won't but now that I found this product I probably won't ever do it again I will keep you guys updated on the toner because I really can't tell if I'm gonna react to it I feel like I touched on everything that I tried out my lashes are from my lash line okay she cute She's doing what she needs to do. Then let me know what you love. Let me know what you want to see again. Let me know what products work for you, what don't work for you. Put a peach emoji if y'all made it all the way to the end. And you never know. I might send you a wig or something because I got too many wigs, y'all. We'll catch y'all in my next video. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. And I'll see you soon. Bye.